Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Painting the Right Way. I'm your host, Jeffrey Wright, and this is episode five, fifth painting we're going to be working on, which is also going to turn into episode six, but still the fifth painting, because it's going to be a two-part. So I'm not going to go through all of these, I'm just going to put them down at the bottom of the screen, and you can look at the either that or at the middle of the screen, and I'll go through which paint colors we're going to be using. This is the same dirty palette, I'm not the most clean person. Luckily, I got new brushes, which is awesome. Uh, I got a couple new two inch brushes and that is it. I didn't get anything else, uh, but we're gonna get started on something a little bit different today. We're gonna start doing pretty well the top half of the painting first. Of course, you can see it's quite large. Gonna try to fit it all on. And then the second half we're gonna do as episode two. And, oh, sorry, six. What I'm gonna be using for brushes again is just the two inch brushes for a lot of it. And then of course, I'm gonna be using some other, uh, like my liner, my one number one liner. If you have a number two, that's fine too. And of course, fan brushes if I need my fan brush, but my knife, <laughs> greatest tool in the world. Uh, today is gonna be a little different and I'm not gonna to use too much blue this time around and no mountains, I swear, no mountains. All right, let's enjoy this. Let's get started. First, we're gonna have it open up my paint thinner here. So I've got a pail that I use with paint thinner in it that I put a screen in the bottom. And then I just keep that, it's all fresh and clean so that I can keep cleaning my brushes, absolutely no problem. Keeps it all happy, happy. All right, so we're gonna use my brush here. And I'm gonna not use my brush, I'm gonna use, a, use my knife here. So I'm gonna go right into a, some medium yellow here. And yellow ochre, just a touch of that. Of course, some white. So we want a little bit of a sky. Now that my canvas is completely dry, there's nothing on the canvas, it's just dry. Make a nice light color. I didn't coat it with any white or anything like that. A little bit lighter, a little bit more yellow. Just like that, perfect. Go into our brush here. We're just gonna load up those bristles. Really get those bristles loaded here. Now don't forget, I'm gonna load up those bristles. I got a little bit of paint thinner on my brush. Just like this, load it up. Big decisions, of course, right? So. across here all the way across the color I'm gonna come down kind of low here keep it coming stretch it right down but we basically this is a lot of oh we may be able to do the whole episode today who knows but we're gonna come right across with this bright color a little more green white in there and just come right across So those crisscross patterns really help to get that paint on that canvas. A lot of the crisscross, so when you're working, you want to crisscross all that paint on as best you can. It helps blend it and keep it even, just like that. Come down a little lower than where we want. 
I actually put our trees and our skies. You just want to bring it down just past where you're going to be working for the most part. All right. So we're going to get all the base on here. Just like that. And we're going to come straight across very gently. All right, so we're not done, so don't get too excited. We did part one of two. Get more white back in there. We need that white. Medium yellow, yellow ochre. I ran out of paint. Not gonna lie, I ran out. So it's okay, it's a little darker than last time, which is fine. Just add a little white and we'll bring it right back up. Take my knife off, go right back into my brush here, load it up, down at the bottom now. Because of course, if you haven't guessed, we're going to be doing some water. This is going to be some water for us. We're going to just leave some of that there. Crisscross, don't forget, keep crisscrossing. It's a lot of work, it's a big canvas, it's a lot of work. Just like that. Once you have it, smooth it on out. Get rid of any of those brush strokes that you have in there. Clean your brush off. You see the screen at the bottom of the bucket, just like that. And you want to wipe it off, and then you beat it, beat it to death. All right, let's get a new clean brush, and we're gonna grab our knife, and we're gonna come right over to here to our green. It actually has a little bit of a skin on it because it's been a couple days. I'm just going to get that color. Got some black I'm putting into it and some raw umber. And you know what? Maybe a little bit of the crimson red, which also has a skin we're going to get rid of. We want all the dark colors. Real dark. Really, really, really dark. We want real dark. Don't be shy. Or maybe even a little bit of that favorite blue. There we go. Now I hope at this time of year in the spring that you guys might be getting a little bit of your gardening going. Whether you have a large yard like I do and you're able to get the rototiller out. That's great. If not, you know, hopefully you get just little plants going. It's nothing like a little bit of plants, eh? Clean your uh, 
clean your knife off and get your clean brush. We're going to do the same thing. Just make sure there's a little bit of paint thinner. Just a little bit of paint thinner. And then you just load that brush up again. It's going to be very much... We're going to go in the one direction. We want that little bit of a curve it gets to the brush when you go that one direction with it. So we load it up first, get a lot of paint in there. Don't be shy. Just pull it in the one direction. We're going to take it, the round part up, and we're going to make some decisions here. We're going to have some different types of trees here. I'm just going to tap where the trees are going to be. If you want to do a bit of a see if we can do it see if it works let's try something new we're gonna just put the paint like that make a fine point on it we're gonna come right up here we're gonna add we're gonna add a pine tree right in here that yeah, worked out pretty good let's do another one why not there we go keep coming up Dark, dark color is good here. Stuff off there. And we're not looking for a lot of detail. We're just getting that background dark color in. Sorry for pounding on the canvas like that. You can probably hear it pretty well. we'll keep going in that dark color. We're gonna come all the way across. I got an idea what I'm gonna do over here. So let's. Just like that. over there that's gonna look good keep that brush dirty grab a clean brush maybe the brush we cleaned that we did the sky with and over here I'm just gonna lightly go in circles here all the way across I want some I want some of that misty fog that had rolled in and grab actually some of the mist and bring it in some of that sky color and we'll bring it right in underneath why not it's our world we can do what we want let's find out how to paint you don't have to do exactly like i do it's all about just having fun that's all painting's about having fun so once we got that clean some of that off very lightly just with the very tips of the bristles very lightly with the tip of the bristles and you just want to go little circles get a lot of the air in there right because that's what we're doing Going like this. Now we can also take it, tap it down, make it look like mist, all the way down like this, right into that sky color we got going. In fact, we're going to try to do that for some spots up here. Right like that. In our world, we are going to just have fun because we don't care. We don't care what happens, we just want to have fun. Maybe we can come over here. Maybe there's a section right in here, it's all a lot of mist. And just like what we would do when we're normally working with the clouds, the bottom of the mountains, right? So clean your brush off a little here, you just want a clean brush. Same sky brush, just cleaned. Same thing, just gonna, gonna bring that sky down into it. Try not to pick up all the stuff in the back. Thank you. 
Just using a clean brush here. Don't be shy. There's always trees. There we go. Now, of course, if you get too much green in the sky, grab your sky color and just put it back in there. It's not a big deal. That's a nice brush. There we go. And of course, smooth it off. Same thing over here. Smooth it off. You just want that fog, that mist rolling in. The illusion of the mist, right? There we go. And don't be too shy. Have fun. I'm just having fun. There, keep that color. Back to our really dirty dark color here. There we go. And of course, we're going to continue this part here. We want to layer it right on top. And this is all going to keep coming down quite a ways. So this is where paint thinner is going to come in a little handy just to bring it down and move it along quicker. Just load the tips of the bristles up at this point. So we don't care. We just, just like that. Why not? There's going to be a lot more color coming in. We're going to layer and layer. Start with the darkest and layer up. Just like that. It's looking good. And don't be shy. And if you're unsure or if you feel like you've made a mistake, that's okay. Mistakes happen. It's not the end of the world. It's all about, I don't know where, finding out where your hands take you. What adventure are you going on? We're just going to come right across here like this, all the way across. Don't be shy. Keep coming. You got a lot of color to cover, a lot of ground to cover. Real dark, real dark. I'm just gonna come down. Now, normally when we want a lake that we want clear that you can see, we pull it down. But today we're gonna do something quite different. In fact, we're gonna get more of that lake color to come up higher, because it's not high enough. We need more. Same thing, so we're gonna just load up that brush Load up that brush, keep coming. Close to this water as we can get. That's what we want. There we go. So let's make some decisions here because we've got a lot of things happening, but I'm not done yet. We're going to come right down here like this. And 
There we go. Now we want to blend it right here on the canvas. A little bit of a crisscross, that's fine. We're just blending all this. A little excess paint off there. I'll bring it right down like a doing that wrong, eh? So there we go. I suppose I should clean it a bit then. And I think for now that might actually bring us to the end of our episode for today. And we're gonna just bring this up a little bit. Just bringing it up. Don't be shy. Get it up in the air. We're getting really close to our episode being done here. Just very lightly blend that out. Blend it into the water. Blend it all the way down. Just like that. And there we go. And for now, we're going to leave that with just the base stuff before I move on to the next episode where we're going to go through all the highlighting. We're going to get our little islands going. We're going to bring a lot of depth to this and it's going to be absolutely stunning when we're done. I hope you're enjoying it so far. For now, have a wonderful day. Send me all the paintings that you've been doing. I'd love to see them. If you have any suggestions you'd like for me to do, go ahead and send me a picture or just tell me. It'd be great. It'll just be a fantastic time to try to figure it out. Till then, see you soon. Have a little fun. Take care.